and the size of the credit and eligibility requirements vary greatly by state. Vermont's $1,000 payment, for example, is reserved for children 5 and under and families earning $125,000 or less. In Massachusetts, existing tax deductions for dependents were converted into two, for, two refundable credits. These, ta these state tax credits are worth between $180 to $240 per child under 12 for the two children and all families. In some states, the credit is non-refundable, which means it can reduce someone's tax liability as low as $0. Taxpayers must file a tax return to receive it. Others, including Vermont, have made it fully refundable, meaning that it can reduce a filer's tax liability below $0. Despite the plans, the bill is yet to be formally proposed and is being negotiated on across both sides of Congress. Folks, we have a ton of good news about the fourth stimulus check and Social Security benefits. Stay tuned because you definitely don't want to miss out on this. Social Security Everybody provides monthly benefits to millions of retired seniors. Some of those seniors depend on the program for the bulk of their income, and that's proven to be a problematic thing this year in particular. Although Social Security recipients get a generous 5.9% raise going into 2022, at this point the rate of inflation is far outpacing that boost. That means seniors who live mostly on Social Security are losing buying power even at a time when they're sitting on a higher raise. But that's not the only issue with depending heavily on Social Security. In the future, Social Security may have to cut benefits to the tune of 20% due to revenue shortfall. That could leave many seniors in the lurch. In the coming years, Social Security expects to owe more in benefits than it collects in revenue, due largely to an anticipated mass exodus of baby boomers from the workforce. The good news is that Social Security has trust funds it can tap to keep up with scheduled benefits. But once those trust funds run out of money, benefits will be cut back on the table. Meanwhile, the Social Security trustees recently released a 2022 report, and it projects that the program's trust funds will run out of money in 2034. From there, Social Security may have to slash benefit income guidelines. But due to the cost of living adjustment, some Louisiana households may see a decrease in SNAP and other benefits, according to the Louisiana Department of Children and Services. This has so far affected millions of people under the Family Independence Temporary Assistance Program and SNAP program as well. State officials have said that these benefits will decrease in January. The cost of living is already increasing every single day. But now... Once again, food inflation is outpacing overall inflation. What this means, though, is that SNAP recipients in the state of New York will once again receive more than 100 bucks in their monthly benefits. SNAP has been crucial for many people in New York and households that are currently at or near the maximum benefit level, which is about 1000 bucks for a household of four, will receive SSI payments of at least $100. Benefits will post between December 12th and December 39th, 31st I mean. An estimated $234 million in federal funding will be infused into New York's economy as a result of additional benefits. Since January, the program has contributed more than $2 billion into the state's economy, playing a critical role in the state's economic recovery in the wake of the crisis. According to a recent federal survey, SNAP generates up to $1.54 in economic activity for every dollar invested in the program. Mexico governor says that the latest round of rebates will go out in mid-June. Thanks to a bill passed by lawmakers during the legislative session, New Mexico people have previously filed taxes and will get another round of rebates. Single tax filers will get $500. Married couples will get more. And taxpayers who use direct deposit when filing their tax turns will get the latest rent rebate checks automatically via direct deposit. If you moved here since 2021, you should update your address online via the Taxation and Revenue Department's Taxpayer Access Point. Now, for those everybody in the United States of America, while well, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that the consumer prices climbed 5% in March, down from 6%. The latest inflation reading represents a ninth straight month of easing price growth on an annual basis, and it's down from 9% high last June. But it's still well above the Federal Reserve's 2% target, among the key categories still seeing outsized pace growth, and now it's climbing 8.5% from March 2022 to March 2023, which hit 8.3% growth. As a result, cooling inflation won't really have proved much about solace to consumers, and it's demand that the Fed is aiming to address by the raising interest rates. Food and rent are among the categories that continue to have the largest price increase. Food prices already climbed 10%. In the same month, rent had the largest one-month increase on record, climbing 8.2%, and rent data is even considering a lagging indicator, meaning surveys are slower to capture real-time changes because most leases are at a 12-month long. We have a ton of good news about the Ford stimulus check, Social Security benefits, SSI, and SDI. I'm ready to see what President Biden could do for you folks, and let's see what he could do for the American people. Hopefully he can do what he promised us and send out the fourth stimulus check. 
Now, first of all, the weather is heating up, and so are gas prices. AAA has reported that the national average for a gallon of gas rose eight cents last week, and now it's up to three dollars and sixty-six dollars a gallon. Now, oil prices initially got a boost early in April, which and now surprisingly announced that it would cut production starting in May by about a million dollars per day. This is news from the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. This past Thursday, and the maximum benefit of the credit was increased from two grand to three grand in 2021. That's for people six to 17 years old, and half of the credit was given in advance. Plus, in monthly payments to the families to help others throughout the year, and the other half was given as part of a household's tax refund. The household with pretty much uh, no or low income was able to receive it for the first time. And though it can take years for the policy to have the tangible effects, the impact of the credit was uh, pretty much very noticeable very fast. And so I believe it's pretty much right for Joe Biden to send out another one. Don't you guys agree? Parents reported using the advance payments for household essentials like groceries, clothing, schools, and utilities. And despite worries from conservatives, researchers found no evidence that the policy discouraged people from going back to work. Instead, it probably motivated people to get back to work. The Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, everybody, said the success of the 2021 expansion showed us that child poverty rates are a policy choice, not inevitable. And Congress failed to renew the expansion in 2021, reverting the credit back to its former, less generous iteration. It's one of the reasons that families could see smaller tax refunds this year when they follow their returns, because some tax credits have already implemented their own version of a child tax credit last year to make up for the difference. Still, without this expansion, everybody, Millions of people fell back into poverty at the beginning of last year. It made many people broke and it hurt so many uh, households. But folks, here's a solution to this. One of the big... Folks, there is a new Ford stimulus check and thousands of Americans are set to receive checks worth as much as $2,500 very soon. Many of you are wondering whether your state will send you one. Well, I'll be sharing all this important information for the Ford stimulus payment in today's video. So continue watching. We got a ton of news about this. Since the IRS distributed the final batch of these economic impact payments to eligible individuals, the concept of a fourth federal stimulus payment has been under consideration. And there are several statewide programs that are in full swing or just getting started. The Alaska Permanent Fund dividend pays Alaska residents a portion of state minerals revenue in the form of an annual dividend to benefit current and future generations. Although the deadline is March 31st of the year for which you're applying, there are some exceptions. According to officials, Applicants who filed an application online and have been determined eligible will receive a September 22 stimulus payment. That's until the end of October, at least. In the Washington, everybody, the Washington Working Families Tax Credit aims to offer financial support to residents for the state range from 52 to 100 bucks. Now, these payments.